Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be opening my first ever Cricut machine. So this is the Cricut Maker and I've been kindly gifted it from Cricut. So thank you so much. The universe aligned and I finally have one of these machines in my hands. I've been looking at these for years now and I've been watching YouTubers create the most amazing DIY projects with it. So it came at the perfect time because we're in the middle of Craftmas. So I'm going to open this box up today and show you how to set it up, go through all the templates, like the DIY templates, and then I'm going to be making a cute little mug that reads, I'd rather be crafting. I saw this mug on a Netflix series, and as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I need this. So I jumped online, it was $30, and I thought, I can do this myself. So as soon as I got this machine, um, I thought this would be the perfect first project so that I could sip away on a rather than crafting mug. So let's get started with the video and Merry Craftmas! So if you're looking for a Christmas present for someone and you know they love crafting, DIY projects or stationery, then this is a perfect gift. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is incredible. Oh, I have to tell you guys, if you're new to my channel, I sing a lot when I get excited. <laughs> just got the cardboard that holds it all together. We have a let's get started pack. So I'll show you what's in that in a second. And then wow. Okay. Are these the mats? Oh awesome! It's pink! <laughs> So we've got the let's get started box. So when I first saw this box I thought it'd be difficult to set up but everything seems like it's really well designed and it's going to be easy step by step process. So we're going to open this one first. Oh how cute! I'm having fun with the setting up process, I never thought I would. Okay, unleash this beauty. So plug in and power on your fabulous new Cricut machine. This is so easy, I love that they're step by step. So they've also got an envelope that says materials for your first project. Oh, this is so sweet. They gift materials so you can do some test projects. Like this is some really pretty fabric. How cool is that? This is very, very high end. So they've also included a Cricut Maker book. Where it shows you like the library and projects. Tools, references. So step number one is plug in the machine. Very, very simple. Now as you can see, this is I think the American plug. So I was actually gifted a box of extras. So this is the Cricut basic tool set. I've also got these at the bottom of the box that I'll pull out and I'll show you what they are in a second. But also, 
one of these. So, so this is the Australian plug and I've actually got a bunch of these for lots of different devices, but they kindly gifted this. Now all we'll have to do is plug it into the box here and then just take the American one out. So now that it's plugged in, the next thing I have to do is get connected. So it's telling me to go to cricut.com slash setup and they say it will be a step-by-step -step process. So I accidentally missed a step. I forgot to turn it on. So how do you open this? Oh, that is so cool. It's opening up itself. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay. So it told me to turn it on. <gasps> No, should I take this out? Okay. It's doing something. So step one says that I need to place the small cardstock on the top left corner of the mat. So I'm assuming that they want me to use the cardstock in the envelope. So I'm going to get the small one out. I don't know if it has to be exact. Okay, place the cardstock down. The mat is not 100% flat. I don't know if that matters, but we'll soon find out. So step two says confirm the blade is set in place in clamp B. So this is clamp B and it looks like that's the blade in there. So I'm hoping that that's ready to go. Now the picture showing that I need to slide the mat into these two little grooves here. See how there's one on each side? So I'm going to slide it in until it touches the wheel. So I think that's all set up. And then the last step says press the load unload button on the machine. I'm really loving how simple these steps are. Although I did mess up turning it on. <laughs> Alright. So now it's telling me to just click this button and it should start cutting. Ooh, I wonder what it's going to cut me. I'm excited to see what it's going to cut. So ready, set, so this button here, cut. It's not cutting the paper. So I think I did it wrong. I think it was supposed to go towards the back one. Oh no, it's cutting the machine. Oh no, I really, really messed this up. I was so excited about how easy these steps were. I should have looked at the tutorial online. I'm so sad that I've cut the machine and I didn't push it all the way back. So keep note, if you buy one of these, you've got to push it all the way back. If not, it will start cutting the machine. So the computer has now got that wheel that it's just like trying to think about it. And I don't want to press play again because I'm scared that the Cricut machine is actually going to start cutting the machine again. So I'm going to have to figure something out. So the reason I thought the mat stopped there is because I can't really get it under these black wheels. So when I pressed this button here, the mat was supposed to then load under the rollers. But as you can see, it didn't. So maybe I pressed it wrong. All right, second time doing this. So I'm gonna press this. <gasps> it worked this time. Ah, yes. Okay, that worked. That's what was meant to happen the first time around. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. We are good to go. Now I can press this flashing C button and hopefully I will get a beautiful picture this time. Yay, it's doing its thing. Have you stopped? Yay! <laughs> so this is when we can use our fancy Cricut tools. <laughs> so I'm going to get out the basic tool set now and I'm going to show you how to use a few of them. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this design. really pointy. Oh, that's so pretty. And then if you have any that you still need to get out, you can get them out with this like picker tool. 
and then we end up with this beautiful sunflower. <gasps> it is so cute. I love it so much. <laughs> Now, because I said the mat was super sticky, you want to keep putting the plastic cover back over at the top so that it doesn't get things stuck onto it. Like, if a lot of dust gets onto this mat, it's going to lose its stickiness and you need it to be sticky in order to put your designs down. As you can see, I've already got little bits of dust, so it might even be good to give it a bit of a wipe. So I might just wipe down the plastic before sticking it on so that it doesn't bring all of the dust onto the mat. So Cricut also kindly gifted me these four products. Now these two here are both premium vinyl. Now this one here it says it's removable and this one here says it's permanent. So the permanent one you can't peel off, the removable one you can. So the removable one you may use for things like windows, um, back of iPhone covers or anywhere that you're most likely going to peel it off and put somewhere else. So that's why you would use the removable ones. So both of these products you can make stickers, you can make labels, you can make really anything you want out of them um, that you can stick on things. So these ones are fantastic. You can see this one comes in lots of different colours. This one here I think it's just the golds and the black. So these two here, so we've got adhesive foil. I did look it up online and it says it can be removable, but this one's when you want to get that really nice gold foiled finish. Um, so even things like candles or um, cards would be really nice with this gold. Um, it's like a rose gold foil. And then this one here is actually a transfer tape. Now, if you don't know what any of the Cricut products are, you can simply go online and if you type in Cricut and the name of the product, and there is a spot on Google where it says how to use. So it will simply tell you on the main page of Google how to use it. And it says once you finish your design, you'll actually press down the transfer tape on top. And then it allows you to easily transfer it exactly where you want on the um, the item that you're transferring the image to. So you will seal down the transfer tape onto your image, you'll place it off and then you'll peel it off. It's just a really, really easy way of um, layering something in the right position because it does have these grids as well. So it means you don't have to fiddle around with your fingers, you can line it up with the grids. So I'm going to get started with my I'd rather be crafting mug. So I'm going to go over to the computer and print out my design. Um, I'm Actually, I'm going to cut out my design probably on the permanent black gloss vinyl, premium vinyl sheet. And then I'm going to probably get the transfer tape and transfer it over onto my mug. So let's get started. Look how cute my design is. So I'm still figuring out the dimensions, but I think the markers here are centimeters. So I'm going to have to measure my mug to see how big I want it.
hope you enjoyed this video today. I loved making this mug, although I had a bit of mistakes at the start of the video where I didn't turn the Cricut machine on to connect it with the computer. Um, I found everything really easy, like all the instructions were very, very easy. The packaging was just beautiful. The Cricut maker um, is gorgeous and I can't wait to display it on my desk. I'm going to be consistently wiping it down because I don't want it to get dusty. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I'm going to make lots of DIY projects. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing all of the rest of my Craftmas videos. Let me know in the comments um, what DIY videos you want me to make with the Cricut Maker. Um, and if there's anything, any other questions, or if you want me to make how-to videos, um, I got a lot of my instructions from just Googling how to Cricut Maker and then going on YouTube and watching lots of tutorials. So, um, yeah, I can make some tutorials for you guys or you could just watch me craft because <laughs> it's fun. I'd rather be crafting anyway. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Merry Craftmas. Isn't it really satisfying to make your own DIY projects. I'd love now to now have a rather be crafted cup mug. I might make one for my sister. She would, oh, I should do that for Christmas. I'm gonna make all my Christmas gifts with the Cricut Maker. I'm gonna have to go on Pinterest now and look up a bunch of ideas because I can make everyone a mug that says something fun on it or funny. Oh, good job, Brittany, good thinking.